All right, what I got here is the A979, but they're pretty much all the same except for the A959 where the steering arms are different for some odd reason. I don't know why, but they are. I mean, excuse me, steering knuckle. You get If you got the, the A959, this is the steering knuckle for it. I don't know why it's so much longer, but it is. But so in that case, it may not apply here. But it should be beneficial either way. But the biggest problem with these guys, whether you got the plastic version or the metal version, it doesn't matter, is the lack of steering. And at first, I thought it might have been a jamming issue or a binding issue where something was like hitting a transmission housing, like that screw right there. But actually, if it went that far, that would be some pretty good articulation, for, at least as far as left and right is concerned. But with the servo in there, it really only goes so far. It, it doesn't move hardly at all. And so, to fix that problem, if you're using a factory servo, that, that obviously doesn't turn very far. What you need to do is lengthen from the pivot point out. And when you do that, you're going to increase your leverage. Right? See, so you're going to, or reaction, whatever you want to call it. Your servo is still going to have the same amount of travel, but this arm is going to move further in and out. And the things to keep in mind is you might have to relocate this hole back. And the same on the other side. Can't see it right now. The servo is in the way. The crap's in the way. So you'll probably have to remake this plate and relocate these holes back. So here's what I come up with. This is just a piece of plastic. Here's an example of the plastic. It's really thick stuff. And so I carved out two of them. One of them's got an end on it to match similar to this. And obviously the other side. But what I want to show is a demonstration. Everybody likes a demonstration, right? Pull that off there. What I got here is basically a vertical line, a 90 degree horizon line, and a 45 degree angle. So we're going to pretend that the servo can actually turn all the way down to 45 degrees. You know, something like that. And we move it out of the way. I've already taken this measurement. It's approximately 18 millimeters of travel. Pull that off there. And let's see, where did I just throw the other one? Not oh, here it is. I'll take the nail out of it. Sorry about that. Let's see. Put that back on there. We'll put that to zero, approximately zero. Then we'll bring that where the servo would, arm would attach, about 45 degrees right there. And we can visually, without even taking any numbers, we can visually see the amount of travel gained. Maybe the camera's too close. But if you're a numbers guy, do it again, this is manual measurements, there's no, so it's approximately 13 miles. So you gain about five millimeters of travel. And that's just turning one direction. If your servo could turn to that degree, when I, I highly doubt the WL toys, I never, never took a degree measurement, but if it could turn that far, that's how much you would gain. So either way, you, you might have this plastic. You can always fabricate it out of another piece of aluminum. I'm gonna uh, obviously chose plastic because I happen to have it around. And where I get, where did I get this plastic? I actually got it out of that subwoofer box right there. This goes in the back of a Mazda Tribute, I want to say. I was about to throw it away and thought the plastic might come in handy for something. And it's really thick. This stuff is like uh, six. Six millimeters, five five millimeters. It depends on where you measure it. Camera's having a difficult time here. Like you can visually tell that this area here is thicker than this area, and then it gets thin here. But thinnest point right across here is a quarter of an inch. I mean, it's pretty thick stuff. And all I all I did was take a section out of the box down here. That's all I did, and then I cut it up. So you guys probably got something similar. You can always fabricate it out of something else. Maybe a nylon cutting board or something like that. Anyway, I'll post another video and uh, show the results. I think first, though, is I'm not going to reposition the holes. I think there's enough room to get this in there without it hitting anything. It looks like there's a lot of room in there. I mean, to go to full lock, 
I mean, it would get that much travel, but it might hit sooner. I don't know. It might hit the drive shaft, but it might throw the angle of uh, this tie rod out. So more than likely, as of right now, I'm guessing that this pivot point right here is going to have to come back. How far? I don't know yet. Maybe, maybe the same amount I extended it. Maybe a quarter of an inch. So that's basically all I did.